For the first time in 175 years, the U.S. Naval Academy is canceling their events leading up to graduation. That impacts a handful of officers right here in the state of Utah. New Specialist Mike Anderson joined us live right now with an effort to make that time special for them here at home. Mike? Yeah, Mike, you know, Commission Week is huge for the Naval Academy. Each year they send off about a thousand officers, and it's hard to make up for all of that, but some volunteers are hoping that a small ceremony, maybe here at the Capitol, can at least make a difference. The cannon firing, the huge ceremony, are just a part of it. Commission Week is a big deal for Navy officers being sent off to serve their country. So it's a really special moment commemorating not just the work of each midshipman uh, throughout the four years, but but the hard work their families, their friends, their loved ones, their neighbors have put in and supporting them through it. Midshipman First Class Alex Hardy says he always wanted to serve in some way, but more recently decided the Navy could become his lifelong career. It's not just about us or anything that we've done, but it's really about the sacrifices of those that have gone before us and wanting to follow in their footsteps. A large piece of it to him is in having senior officers send them off. But amid that and the week-long fanfare that he learned wouldn't happen this year. It's been a little bit shocking, definitely disappointing. Um, but I totally understand, you know, this is a challenging time. We have to work together as a country. Then just two days ago, he learned an alumnus here in Utah, his family and the families of other graduates like himself were working to make sure this landmark in their lives doesn't go unnoticed. And it would mean so much to me. I totally understand. I totally support the decisions to to cancel the traditional events for everybody's health and safety. But it's also so exciting and so motivating to see the support of the people here back home. A ceremony outside the state capitol, hopefully some state leaders in attendance. Details are still being worked out and nothing set in stone. But the simple fact that people are trying means a lot. It's definitely making May something to look forward to and not something to think about that we're missing out on. And the hope is to have that ceremony on May 22nd as the usual graduation day and to include as many of the commissioning uh, traditions as possible. Back to you. Congratulations to those graduates. Mike, thanks.